Okay, so let's try to balance this equation in alkali solution. Okay, so we cannot balance this equation by observation. So we'd have to use what we call the alpha reaction or the iron electron method, except we are balancing it not in acidic media. So in acidic media, basically, we get to end with uh, the proton ions. We are okay reading our uh, final equation with the protons. Now for alkali and basic, basically, we'd have to end with hydroxide ions instead. So it's an extra step that you're going to observe. Okay, as usual, our first step is to split the reaction into, into its half reactions. So we only have a single reactant, so we'd have to delete it to both uh, products. So I'll first of all, write the half reactions. So we have manganese, O4, 2 minus. I will relate it first of all to our first product, which is manganese O2. I'll go to the other half reaction. Our only reactant, again, related to our other what? product, our second product. So that is the first step. We've now split our given equation into its uh, half reactions. What is our next step now? Our next step is to balance all the other atoms before oxygen and hydrogen. So looking at our first half reaction, we only have manganese and oxygen. So we'd have to balance manganese before we balance oxygen. Now we only have a single manganese on both ends. So that is already balanced. So our first step directly is to proceed to now balancing our oxygen atoms, right? How many oxygen atoms do we have? <coughs> so on the left we have four, on the right we have two. How do we get to balance? So we balance the oxygen atoms by adding water, right? So add two water molecules. Why am I adding two water molecules? Because we have four oxygen atoms here, we have two. So the two water molecules will come with two oxygen atoms, making it four on the right as well. Now, you observe that each time we are balancing oxygen atom, there is an issue now with the hydrogen atom. So we get to balance hydrogen atoms as our next step. So on the right hand side I'm going to add 2 times 2, 4. So we need to add 4 hydrogen atoms. So at this point we've balanced oxygen, hydrogen and also manganese. We can quickly now go to our second half reaction. For our second half reaction we'd have to balance first of all as usual other atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So we have manganese as our only other atoms. So we already balanced to oxygen we have four there we also have four so that is already balanced so all the atoms in our second half reaction are already balanced oxygen is already balanced there is no hydrogen so everything is already balanced now after you've balanced all the atoms in both half reactions you now need to balance the charges in, in the two reactions so you i'll start with a simpler one which is the second one so here the charge is negative two so we multiply our charge by the coefficient on the left. Here there is a 1. So the charge remains negative 2. On the right hand side there is a charge of negative 1. The coefficient is also a 1. <coughs> so we have a minus 1. So now observe. If you look at your number line. You have a 0 there. This side you have positive numbers. This side you have negative numbers. Now, if I ask you a question, which one is bigger between negative 2 and negative 1? You realize that we're counting going towards the right hand side, right? So, clearly, negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. So, this is obviously an increase in our oxidation number, which is oxidation. So, use oil and leak to remember that. Oxidation is loss. Reduction is gain. Okay. So, since oxidation is loss, or the other prototype that I'm using to help you remember is the addition of uh, where can we add electrons so that we can where can we subtract so that we balance the numbers so we can subtract from the negative one another negative to make it negative two we are equal right so we are adding an electron on our right hand side so that is an oxidation reaction if you go to the other one you also observe here we've got a positive times four we've got four positives you have a minus 2 times the coefficient of a 1, it remains a minus 2. So that will give us a charge of a positive 2 on our left. On our right, there are zeros, so we just have a charge of a 0. So from 2 to 0, is it an increase 
or reduction it's a reduction straight away so where can you subtract so that we balance we can sub clearly subtract from a positive side to reduce it so we'll minus two so that means we'd have to add two electrons on our right hand side that's basically how we balance the charges so i'll add two electrons to our left hand side but before that let me just clear create some space okay so we can add how many electrons we're adding two electrons okay so we've balanced the charges in both half reactions now the other step is to balance now the number of electrons in both half reactions so in the first half reaction we've got two electrons in the second one we only have a single electron so we multiply by that by a two so two 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 we've balanced now the two half reactions the number of electrons are going to cancel out and then the rest are going to be combined to form our final reaction our final equation so we have we can start with a second half reaction 2 manganese O4 2 minus plus 4 hydrogen ions plus manganese O4 2 minus giving us <coughs> on our right hand side manganese O2 plus two water molecules plus two manganese of four minus so I've just combined the reactants that have remained and also our products and basically that is how we go about balancing over our reactions or balancing our given equations reactions in the alkali of the basic media now have we balanced it in full no we've not okay so if it was in acidic media you can end at this point but it is, it is not in acidic media we would have to balance it to what we're calling the the basic of the alkali media so we don't basically the presence of the hydrogen ions indicates uh, acidness so we need to show alkalinity by the presence of the hydroxide ions so basically what we get to do our extra step is to add an equivalent number of hydroxide ions on each side Okay, so we have got four hydrogen ions in this case. We are going to add four hydroxide ions to both sides of the equation. So notice that adding an equivalent amount of a substance to both ends does not change the reaction. Okay, so it's like if you have four plus plus x being equal to let's say six, right? So if you decide to subtract by four on both sides by adding a negative four both sides and a negative four both sides you are not changing the equation okay and that's basically what we're doing here now you realize that a reaction between a proton and an hydroxide ion basically gives us what water so on our left hand side something is going to change about it so I have two manganese O4 two minus plus four water molecules plus our manganese or four two minus okay but was our reactants on our left hand side now at this point and then on our product side you realize that we add two water molecules which are going to indicate and then they by have started with water molecules and then we are going to we've now also introduced our four hydroxide ions so plus four hydroxide ions what else we now also have, oh, I'll write what was there, manganese O2 and 2 manganese O4 minus. So clearly, at that point, we'll be able to see that we have got spectator, um, spectators because we have water on both ends. We've got four water molecules, we've got two, so we'll have to subtract. So those two ones, we'll subtract two water molecules on both ends because it's a lower one, right? So clearly, the two ones will go. Here, they will reduce from four, they'll become now two. Now, this is our final equation in alkali or basic media. And this is basically how you go about this method of ion electron method in basic or alkali media.